Look out, boxing fans. It's your boy Ash. Let me do this video real quick. You know, I haven't really been participating in all this uh, online beefing going on. If y'all know me, y'all know really, that really ain't my style. Uh, where I come from, I only know a couple of ways to handle beefing. Getting online ain't one of them. Uh, especially over something like a sport of boxing. Uh, I've seen several videos out there. And I'm just going to get my take on the issue because I really don't know the, the back story on all that stuff because I usually don't even pay attention. But I've been paying attention lately. First thing I want to address is what my interpretations of what a Pactard is and what a Flomo is. First of all, Pactard, if you leave it to me, Pactard was a word invented by Filthy Mouth years ago. You know, right here on, on YouTube, man, if, if I was Filthy Mouth, I'd get a damn copyright and patent on that. Because the first time I ever heard that word, it came from Filthy Mouth, who was one of the old school channels on here. He don't, he don't get down no more. Uh, Flomo, well, before I get to Flomo, Pactar, in my, from my interpretation of it, is a guy who don't watch the sport of boxing at all, and they only watch Pacquiao. But that's not the whole story because there's a lot of people that do that that are not pack tarts. But not only do they do that, they only watch Pacquiao in the sport of boxing and yet they have an opinion on the sport of boxing as it pertains to Pacquiao. But that still ain't what a pack tart is. The pack tart, in my interpretation, is all that above and they're willing to go out faithfully and go to anybody's email, go to anybody's channel, go on any blog page, go anywhere where they where they can write and express their feelings. And basically, if you don't feel the same way they went, the way they feel about Manny Pacquiao, they call you racist names. They, you know, they tell you that you don't know anything about boxing or um they curse you out, they insult you in every type of way until you finally just crack on them. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's a packed heart because that's ultimate disrespect. Now, for me, I respect everybody's opinion on whoever your, your fighters are, who you like, who you dislike, why you dislike them. Everybody got an opinion. You know what I'm saying? I can't hate nobody because of their opinion. But when you're willing to disrespect somebody else on something that has nothing to do with boxing, because of what their take is about boxing, then to me, that's what made them a Pactar. Because the Pactars that I know of, and they not all Filipino, the Pactars that I know of, I addressed earlier on, I said they single-handedly destroyed the boxing community. And they did that for reasons that I just addressed. Okay, it, it was far beyond the racist stuff. I mean, they religiously stalked you out just to curse you out insult you with racial slurs and stuff like that all because you don't feel the same way they feel about their fight that's a pack talk now flomo is a new word you know i haven't really been you know abreast to what flomo is but my interpretation of flomo is the same thing that it is for pack tar but on the other end that if you don't agree that mayweather is the greatest thing since sliced bread and they're willing to call you out, talk about you, curse you out, call you names because you don't agree with it or because you have an opinion that is not uh, congruent to what they believe, then there's friction because of that. If I can't, if I don't respect what Pactar say, I won't respect what Flomo say at all, especially with the disrespect stuff. Now, if you're a Flo, uh, Floyd Mayweather fan, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? That's fine with me. If you think this guy is the greatest fighter to ever live, that is perfectly fine with me. You're entitled to your own opinion. Okay? But when you disrespect others because they don't agree with it or that they have a position that's different than what you, that, uh, a position different than what your take is and you disrespect them on that premise, then yeah, you a Flomo. Straight up, or if you're a Pacquiao fan and you do that same thing, and yeah, you are a Pac Tar because I've defended Manny Pacquiao in the past and I've dissed Manny Pacquiao in the past. I've uh, defended Floyd in the past and I've dissed Floyd in the past because of whatever the situation may be. I ain't got no favorites, you know what I'm saying? The only really favorites I got, and I'm gonna only say that because, uh, 
I will only have a favorite if I know the guy. And I know a lot of fighters. I know managers. You know what I'm saying? And a couple of promoters. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes to guys that I know personally, I'm biased for, from, for those guys. And I'll, I'll own up to it. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I respect all fighters and support all fighters. They don't have, to, they don't have nothing to do with skin color. Because this sport of boxing, I love it more than football, basketball, baseball, you name it. And I, and I respect the contributions of all fighters regardless of their color because a white man, a Mexican, a Puerto Rican, Dominicano, blacks, if they enter that ring with them gloves, if they glove up and that bell rings and they go and handle business, they all are equally putting their lives on the line just to entertain us. And they do this for money. So that means they're willing to do it over and over and over. Um, even though it has physical and health related consequences for that occupation. So I respect them all. But, you know, I try not to bring race into the sport because in my opinion, race, it really don't even belong in the sport, to be honest. It really don't even belong. Now, granted, over the history of the sport, boxing was built on ethnic rivalries, and that's cool. You know, that's been going on for years. I'm not one who can come in and change that. If, in fact, that's what brought more people to the sport of boxing because you got rivalries that have existed for years, like Mexican versus Puerto Rico. That's one of the biggest rival rivalries in boxing. And you got one right now that's been brewing. Uh, it's the newest rivalry, uh, rivalry, rivalry, and that's Filipino versus Mexican. You got Mexican versus black. We've been kicking each other ass for years. That's why there's a deep-rooted respect between Mexicans and blacks. I mean, and, and if you're from, like, I'm from the South, so I grew up fighting b uh, blacks and Mexicans. And I'm going to tell you like this, Mexicans go hard. You know what I'm saying? You got If you beat them, that means you whoop their ass. Other than that, they fought your ass tooth and nail. You know what I'm saying? And I got a big, big respect for Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Because I grew up around them. I grew up around a variety of people. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to exclude whites from this. Like one of the guys I like to watch a lot is Carl Frotch. Now in the, in the UK, they really don't concentrate on all that race crap. If you're from the UK, you're from the UK. Uh, as far as I understand it. Okay. But I respect what this guy brings to the ring. And as a result, I support that guy, man. I'm behind him. Man. He, he's not afraid of shit. He talks shit in his own little British tongue. But at the end of the day, he's willing to put them gloves on and get busy. So I, I fucks with Carl Frox. Carl Frox, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't want y'all to think that because a guy is black that he doesn't have support from other races. That's not true. Don't think for one second that those million pay-per-views that Floyd gets is just all black people. Please don't believe that. Floyd got a legion of white fans. He got a legion of UK fans. He got a legion of Mexican fans. This guy has fans by all people. It's not just all black people that support Floyd Mayweather. So all black people don't have to come to the defense of Floyd Mayweather. You know, and you don't have to feel like a sellout if you don't defend Floyd Mayweather. Because this guy got fans in all nationalities. He don't need black support, so to speak, in my opinion. Now, Manny Pacquiao, same thing. This guy got black supporters, Mexican supporters, white supporters, Filipino supporters. But the average boxing fan wouldn't know that because you've been overwhelmed by this uh, jargon from these pactards. I understand, but that doesn't mean that that's the only people that buy his fights or buy the tickets to his fights or support him. I mean, you can look. I mean, if Floyd is your favorite fighter, then you have to believe that it's guys in the black community who have names that publicly ridicule Floyd and uplift Pacquiao. You see it on TV, you hear it on the radio. You know what I'm saying? These guys have crossover appeal. Whether the mainstream or the boxing press want to acknowledge it or not, they have fans of all ethnicities. And because me, I'm a student of the game, I have to acknowledge that. I can't just make this a racial issue, even though the Pactards have made this a racial issue for the last several years. So I, I, I choose not to get in that in that argument and most guys who know boxing if they if they diss Floyd is based on um what they believe his resume to be thus far or what they believe his reasons were for not fighting certain individuals 
or maybe for the things that come out of Florida's damn mouth. I don't know what the argument may be, but everybody has an opinion. And because I believe everybody has a right to their own opinion, I'm not going to just jump to Floyd Mayweather's defense because he's a black man. OK, this is not an issue that that lies uh, on color lines. He don't need like Al Sharpton to come up from from behind the, the news desk and, and rally up a bunch of black people and march for him. You know, it's not that serious. Guys from back in the game, 50s, 60s and 70s. They face way more racial prejudice and discrimination than Floyd Mayweather will ever face in his life. They paved the way for that guy, uh, Money Mayweather, to accrue the money that he's making right now, which is unprecedented. So, you know, and, and to support a black man because of his, of his financial success, I definitely do that for Floyd Mayweather because he's a he's amassed more money than I'll probably ever see in my life. I have no doubt in my mind I'm not going to see that. I don't want to put words into action because uh, word sounds have power. I don't want to make it to where I hinder myself from making that type of money. But realistically speaking, what are the odds? So he don't need my support in that arena. He's already done that regardless of if I support him or not. He's filthy rich, as he would say. So on the, uh, on the flip side, I really don't I really don't have to support him like that. Do I support him in the ring? I, I support Floyd Mayweather the same way I support Juan Manuel Marquez, same way I support um, Shane Mosley, same way I support basically any fighter who gets in that ring to you know pursue the career that they love to feed their family. They all put their lives on the line. Okay, and I'm just speaking from my own point of view. If someone called me a flomo, which I'm sure I've been called before in the past. Get that dirt off your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? That stuff don't fade me one bit. You don't know me. You can call me that every day. Hell, the Pat Tars did for years. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, eventually I cracked them when it came to those Pat Tars. That's why, you know, when they came on my on my channel dissing Floyd, like I'm Floyd's publicist or something, or like I'm Leonard Ellerby. When they came on my channel year after year dissing Floyd, that's fine. I didn't even respond to it unless I had an opinion on what they were saying. But when they came dissing my race, the way I was brought up, I wasn't brought up to diss nobody race. That's why I've never called nobody no flomo. You know what I'm saying? Or I, I've never called nobody out their out their out their name is in terms of their race. That's not my that's not my style. If I got it against you like that, I'd rather just go ahead and get in the street and size up with you, get it off my chest and be done with it. Shake your hand afterwards. You know whatever happened happened. You know. You know, I try not to do that because I'm an adult. I'm a father. You know what I'm saying? I, I choose not to do stuff like that. Yeah, you know, at this age in the, in the game, it's not worth it. But I'm not going to nobody race like you had a decision on how you came out your mama. You didn't have a decision. It's not like you can have, you can ask God, God birth me a black man, you know, at birth. No one has, or has, uh, has, no one is at fault on how they come out. So how, who am I to dish you because of that? That's stupid. You know what I'm saying? So I don't go that route. Now, that's just my my opinion on uh, supporting a fighter based on his ethnicity. Now, on the flip side of that, I understand exactly what certain guys may be coming at when they, t when they talk about you got to support your own. In boxing, they do that. Mexicans do support Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Filipinos definitely support Filipinos. Whites support whites. And blacks probably should support their own. And, you know, you got certain promoters who will put on a card and name it. You know, the title of the bill would be Pinoy Power for Filipino, Filipino, Filipino based fight card featuring Filipino fighters. And that's fine. You got promoters that will put a card out there that says Latin Fury. And that's fine. No one says anything about that. But imagine a backlash if there was a fight card that came out that said Black Power or, or White Power. Can you imagine if there was a promoter to put a card out there that said White Power? That was a title of it. So I understand what you say on, on that premise, but, you know, it part and you know what parts of it you're right parts of it you know is is unnecessary but the fact remains that's the way that it is you know I, I mean certain ethnicities can get away with that you know what I'm saying but at the same time 
You should support your own, but if you really are a true boxing fan, you should support all fighters. And I support all fighters, you know, regardless. I may support a guy and, and say a guy is this, that, and the third on, on terms of his skills, ability, and the things that he, he's accomplished. But if I feel something ain't right with him, or there's a chink in his armor regarding his resume or his intentions in terms of his fight career, I'm going to speak on that. I'm going to speak on it, regardless if, if he black, Mexican, white, or whatever, because that's just my opinion. You know, and then those that don't like my opinion, it's simple for you. Stay off my page. You know what I'm saying? I mean, no disrespect to somebody else because of my opinion. I'm not going to call you out your name because of my opinion. My opinion is what it is. All right? My only beef is with those guys any person out there who's willing to disrespect somebody else because of their opinion, because it's not favorable to what they think. Point blank, period. I can't speak on behalf of nobody else. I can only speak on behalf of me. But, in, you know, in terms of our standard in this world as black people or as African-Americans or as Negroes, I support my people. I mean, how, how can I not? Every day I wake up and look in the mirror. This is what I see. So if I don't have no shame in me, why should I have any shame in them? And that goes for any person. If you're white and you wake up in the mirror, and why should you feel shame in you? If you feel shame in you, then I guess you should feel shame in your people. But if you don't feel no shame in you, don't feel no shame in your people. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got flaws. Treat everybody the same. Respect everybody. That don't mean everybody going to get along, but at least you know you did what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? You can, help, you can hold yourself up. Hold your head high. That's the way I feel about it, man. You know, everything ain't going to change all at one time. All the things that are favorable to, to anybody's ethnicity isn't going to happen all overnight. You take a stand or you fall for anything, but that don't mean you got to take a fall early in the game. Live to see the changes as it progress. You know, there's nothing wrong. You know, it's, it's good to take steps towards progression, but there's nothing wrong with baby steps. At least you're stepping toward the direction, towards the goal. Okay? So, you know, there's no need to always be negative about it, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I just wanted to put my opinion out there as far as uh, supporting fighters out there. I didn't, I, I'm not aware of anybody calling me a flomo. If they call me that, you know, whatever, so be it. I'll live. You know what I'm saying? And I've never personally called any person on this earth a flomo. I can't say I haven't called anybody a pactar. But I guarantee you that was only in response after a long, long, long day after day, week after week, month after month of being ridiculed and, and, and called racial slurs and just you name it, man. Just anything that I got my name on, here they come. You know what I'm saying? I've called somebody a Pactar, but it, the name was fitting, okay? But I feel if you just feel that strongly about your fighter, that's fine. You don't do it. You don't have to do it and disrespect others because they don't agree. Respect your fighter and worship them. Do whatever you want to do. But leave others alone if they don't agree. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the way I feel about it. Point blank period about any fighter. Okay? But me personally, I support all the fighters. I got a deep respect for um, the Puerto the Boricuas, the Mexicans, Dominicans, Cubans, whites. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people think whites ain't ain't do nothing to pave the way. Oh yeah, they did. You know, yeah, it was a it was a good time that where blacks weren't allowed to do certain things in the sport of boxing. But that don't mean that there wasn't no great white fighters out there. You kidding yourself? Go back and do that research. They were there, and, and in some instances they're still here. You know what I'm saying? Support them too. You know what I'm saying? Support them too. And I definitely support my own. You know what I'm saying? But I don't do it on long color lines as far as the sport is concerned. Concern. Anything that's going to bring integrity to the sport and uplift the sport in a positive way where more people want to come along and join the sport and help the sport grow to where it used to be and further, I'm all for it. And dividing the sport along color lines ain't going to get it there. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to get my take out there. I didn't mean to do a video this long, but before this Flomo versus Pactar, whatever, whatever, Mayweather versus the world, before this shit really get out of hand, we just really need to examine how much support needs to be given. You know, I don't know a lot of these guys, and for me to want to 
spark beef with somebody because they have a vendetta, so to speak, against that guy. I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got this this blood going through your veins, it's going to be hard for me to just jump on the front line for you, especially if I ain't known you since at least the early 90s, 80s. You know what I'm saying? Or even the playground early. You know what I'm saying? Early in the game. It's going to be hard for me to be a front line soldier for you. And that may mean Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you have the, anybody have the right to say whatever they want. I respect everybody's opinion, you know, but the way I put it out there, I try to put it out there unbiasedly straight down the line. And if that means if I got to if I got to give it to Floyd Mayweather on a on a on a bashing video or if I got to support him on a video, I'm going to do it. If I got to give it to Pacquiao bashing him or I got to support him, I'm going to do it. It's the way I feel. I'm going to put it out there the way I feel. You know what I'm saying? If you like these guys and you want to just put out videos in support of them, Go for it, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Don't let nobody tell you that. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing that would be wrong with it is if you disrespect somebody else because they don't agree with it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Um, the YouTube boxing community back in the game. Look, there was a time where I was supporting Floyd Mayweather and outside the ropes hated his ass and blood hated his ass and several other people hated. We didn't beef over it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody respected each other, man. That's that man opinion. You know what I'm saying? That's a grown man. You can think whatever you want to think. You know what I'm saying? That was the way it is, you know? Or there was a time where Blood was a Pacquiao fan and I wasn't no fan no more. You know what I'm saying? Or outside the rose wasn't a fan. Or whatever the situation may be, but it wasn't no beef. It ain't got to be beef. You know what I'm saying? We can try to chop it up, build some dialogue on the internet over the videos. And that's all cool, fine, and Danny. If there is no res there is no solution, but we can't find a common ground on this topic, we drop our nuts on the topic and move to something else, or you know, just squash it all together, you know. And that's just the way you handle that business. So, I mean, I just wanted to put this out there. I hope I ain't never offend nobody in terms of uh, how they feel about Floyd Mayweather. Um, I think he's a great fighter as well. I've been asked in the past who I think is the greatest to ever live. I haven't stuttered one time when I said Sugar Ray Robinson, Walker Smith Jr. Please believe. And I got my reasons. Uh, do you know how many Hall of Fame guys this guy beat? You know what I'm saying? You know how many how many fights this guy or how many top-notch fighters he had to fight before he can get his first shot at the welterweight crown when guys he beat became champion. You know what I'm saying? The guys he beat became champion before he even got a shot. This guy had to leave welterweight to go to middleweight because he was, you know what I'm saying, wasn't getting no challenges, no real challenges. This guy was not no middleweight when he went up there and fought Lamar. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This guy was totally outweighed. You know, or when or when he went up to light heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? The the uh challenge for the light heavyweight crown. He only weighed 154 pounds. This dude was outweighed by over 20 pounds easily. Easily. And the only reason why he lost that fight is because of exhaustion in the ring. The ref got kept. Man, y'all know the story, man. Don't, don't get me going on that. You know how many Hall of Fame guys this boy beat when he came back to boxing after retiring? You know, when it really wasn't even there no more. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, I, can go, I can go on and on about this guy. You know what I'm saying? That's why it is a consensus. That this guy is the best guy to ever lace up gloves. This guy was magic in the ring. You like Ali? Who you think Ali patterned his fight game afterward? You know what I'm saying? How many guys you ever seen dance around? How many heavyweights you ever seen dance around the ring, the ring for 15 rounds? Which is great that Ali did that. But who did he pattern his style after? You know what I'm saying? Who did a lot of guys pattern their style after? You know? So, I mean, in terms of skill, I mean... Yeah, he's one of the best ever seen, man. But we talking about a lot of eras, a lot of eras of the sweet science, a lot of eras of boxing before I consider a guy who is still actively fighting the best among them all. You know, so that's just my opinion on it. Is he a great fighter? Hell yeah. Shit. Every time he get in the ring, I'm watching. I've seen every fight this guy's ever had as a professional. Every last one of them. You know, I've seen a great portion of Manny Pacquiao's fights ever since he was fighting at uh, when he first came to 122 pounds, I watched them all. That's why I know this guy's resume and a lot of things they say about him is not what it is, 
And a lot of things people say about Floyd is not what it is on both sides, the support and the heat, the heat against him. You know, it's a lot of stuff they leave out. So it is what it is, man. I, I charge it to what it is an opinion. You know what I'm saying? So I just respect everybody's opinion. You know, I, when I do videos, I hope I'll keep it as center line as, and unbiased as possible. Um, I really don't know, and I hope this is not disrespectful. I don't really know all the people that su subscribe to me, and it's for a reason. In the past, when I first started doing this, I used to get emails from guys who were subscribed to me, and they didn't feel the way I felt when I put a video out there. And they would like threaten their subscription. If I didn't, you know, change my view on the shit, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to prostitute myself for nobody. The way I feel is the way I feel. I'm going to put it out there the way I feel, you know what I'm saying? And after that day, I just disconnected my subscriptions from my page. I don't even want to see it. You know what I'm saying? If you feel it the way I feel it, or if you even respect it and you subscribe, man, power to you, you know what I'm saying? I'm with you, you know what I'm saying? I do it for you, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to sugarcoat and change anything because somebody don't feel the way I feel. I'm going to put it out there the way I feel. You like it, fine. You don't like it, fine. You leave a comment, fine. I try my best to respond to them all. Sometimes I can't. It's a lot of, I work on the road. I travel a lot. So I don't, I'm not able to do YouTube all the time. I'm trying to get back into it like we used to, but it ain't like the way it used to be. But anyway, man, I ain't mean to drag this video long. Uh, I'm going to holler at you guys, man. I hope you guys work out all your issues and stuff like that. And I hope this video wasn't offensive in any way to anybody. And uh, should keep pumping these boxing videos out there. So I'm going to holler. Peace.